Barty, first player to win the Australian Open without dropping a set since Serena in 2017. Ten aces, 30 winners. They both had 22 unforced errors, but 13 more winners for Ash Barty in this match. The serve was going well. Also joined Serena as the only active women's players to win majors on all three surfaces. Lindsay, as you were watching this final, what was the difference to you? Oh, the Barty forehand, it came up huge for her. She served a great match as well, but just when her game started to go off, she was able to pick it back up with the forehand. Collins did a remarkable job early in that second of really turning the tide, of getting that momentum. And Steve, she had so many chances to really capitalize and, and try and win that second set, and it didn't happen for her. Funny, we've been talking about that biting slice for uh, for the last two weeks, and it was really the forehand that bailed her out. Again, that serve, 10 aces, was just a, a nice sat to put up in a straight set match. But I think just so much of this, and we'll talk about it more. I mean, so much of this was just meeting the moment and the nerves, because uh, this was not this was on Andy Murray going to Wimbledon and Federer in, in the draw. I mean, this was the number one seed. She's top of the draw. She's won two other majors, and there was a sense of. It's her time, and if it's not, it's going to be on her. That's a much different situation than we've seen sometimes in the yeah, past. I think you felt the, the sigh of relief or mm -hmm. scream of relief when she won rather than the joy. She's quick to smile off the court, but she, in years past when she won the majors, she's like, oh, okay, I'm happy. But she didn't really let, let it out. Yesterday, she let it out because I think she was just so relieved. There had to be so much pressure on her. The whole country was on uh, pins and needles, as you yeah. say.